Welcome to my forever home. I hope you've been enjoying my house to home series. I lived in New York for the past 45 years and now I've returned home to the South. We're enjoying this model home located in a golf community where the previous owners never lived in the home. They only came here to enjoy golfing. Join me as I have the pleasure of turning this beautiful house into our home. In this video, I'm doing a much needed living room makeover. I've decided to add these pleated fabric shades to my three arch windows in the living room. These custom shades can be trimmed at home to fit perfectly in your arched window. There are no tools needed. You simply use a measuring tape and knife and you just cut them down to size. We've received estimates to replace these three windows, but for a fraction of the cost, until that's done, I'm placing these light filtering shades on top. In order for these shades to fit perfectly in each window, we simply measured the window sill. And for the bottom section of my three windows, I ordered these custom made Hunter Douglas white blinds. I'm using my beautiful windows as art frames in the room, so I've decided not to add curtains. Previously, I found this large canvas art piece in a consignment shop and the table underneath was in a second consignment shop and my intentions were to redo both of them to be used in my living room. But everything that I planned didn't turn out that way. I decided to take the picture and repaint it.
I spray painted these artificial branches to be used as base fillers in my living room. I found these twigs and branches in the florist department at my local grocery store. Although the paint says Rust-Oleum and Metallic, I used it and it did the job. I'm sharing my Purple Magic Crepe Myrtles. This is my first time seeing them bloom. This royal purple dwarf blooms from June until late September. They can actually grow as a tree or a shrub and they're actually pest and disease resistant. This is simple Southern Reflections. Welcome to SSR TV. I enjoy decorating with flowers. In my living room, I'm going to have this vase filled with artificial flowers from Z Gallery. Michael's and the grocery store. Later, I'm going to share my DIY abstract painting with you, although it didn't come out the way that I expected, but I'm a little bit proud of it. I was able to find a nice picture in the home goods to replace my DIY failure. This nice abstract art from the home goods measured the perfect size to fit over my table. Both the colors and the price was right. small marble table that I found at the home goods is supporting this very easy but gorgeous bird of paradise plant. While sitting in this location, my plant receives the full morning sun. All right, this is my failed DIY artwork that should have been hanging above this table and between these two chairs. Let me know what you think about it and what in the world should I do with it? Instead of putting it in the trash, I probably should sign it and then put it on eBay. My leather chairs are a part of the Sophia 
Vergara Collection from Rooms to Go.